Hello, and welcome to Startups in Real Life. We're in week three of 10 weeks. Um, we're doing two times a week discussion with Ray Hames to talk about all things startup. If you have any insights, support, advice, we'd love to hear it. Um, drop us a message and we will connect. So let's get to it. Hello, Ray. Howdy. Um, how are you doing? I am good. I am good. I am back from a really lovely vacation last week um, and excited to chat. That's great. That's Got great. Yeah, it was a little lonely. It was a little lonely out there last week, <laughs> me and myself. Um, but this week, uh, you when you're out um, on Thursday, um, one of our um, our the people that have been following us is going to join me, Stacy. Right. So perfect. Um, we're going to be working on that. So, all right. So today, I was thinking, let's talk about the company announcement um, that's happening today. Um, I'd love for you to, um, you know, let us know, uh, kind of what you've been doing around the announcement, um, kind of announce um, who we are officially to hang our shingle. And then people can kind of understand these are the first steps when you're bootstrapped, how you get things kind of out there. So yeah, well, drum roll, please. This is our live company <laughs> launch announcement, I guess. Um, so today we are going live with our new company, Team Era. Um, I am really excited to start talking about this more broadly because obviously we've been working on building up our company foundation um, you know, and product for the past few months. And this is our first formal announcement of our company um, as we launch our first, as we go towards launching our first set of products this summer. So um, a couple things. One, I want to spend some time today, hopefully we can chat about what this means for Team Era, but also um, to answer your question about, you know, kind of this bootstrap company journey. Um, this is our first step of many announcements. You know, this is announcing to the world that we exist. Um, we formed a new company and we can start talking about what we're building and who we're building it for. Um, right. Our goal is to launch our first set of products this summer. So coming up next month, we'll have our very first product launch, um, which is the entry point to our build, manage, measure system, um, which we can talk about in a little more detail, maybe yeah. now, maybe later. Um, yeah. But the idea behind announcing our company and starting to draw attention to ourselves is to start building a wait list. Ultimately, our goal is to launch with several interested customers and um, launching and making an announcement that, hey, we're out there, here's what we're trying to build, let's get some early input, um, let's start sharing demos of the product is a really great way for us to generate interest, get early feedback, that's what I've been doing the past few weeks as I've been talking mm -hmm. about customer interviews, that's been um, a key point that's informing some of how we speak about the company and how we speak about the product. But most tangibly, we now have active demos that we can share with the world. And so it's the right time to start. Yeah. Getting what I'd love to do is it. back back up a little bit though, and like, let's just, pause on the name for a minute like what were you you know when you came up with that what were you you know what is it you were thinking um resonated with that name i think so again the company's called team era and um it really comes down to what we're trying to build is a tool set that helps brands build teams of freelance talent there's um such a massive rise of freelance uh creative and marketing talent out there in the world it's a huge trend that we've seen pre-pandemic, but obviously the pandemic accelerated how much of the creative and marketing industry prefers to work freelance. Um, and we know that brands are actively building in-house teams um, to either supplement or replace their former agency relationships. And what we're excited about, like we're in a team era, that's literally what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and we, I think, you know, there's a million freelance marketplaces out there. There's a million places to find individual rock stars. Um, mm -hmm. But there's no great way to put together comprehensive teams of people that work well together, that have a uh, common ground, common experience, common interests that can help um, move projects forward. You know, it's a very manual process. I know from personal experience, I know from experience of working with our past clients about how hard it is to find a team that gels. And so mm -hmm. to build software that helps answer that um, is an exciting place for us to dig into. And I think that it has a lot of utility um, at scale. And so mm -hmm. we're really focused on, on, on building teams. I think okay. that that's what it comes down to. 
And you talked a little bit about our past experience, but what is it that really kind of why us? What differentiates us from anything else that's out there? And not just the product, but even the people. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, my personal background, we've talked about this a little bit, but I've sat on all sides of the fence within the advertising industry. I've been in big and small agencies. I've been brand side managing agencies. I've been a freelancer myself, um, both as a creative and a producer building teams. And um, our last company was focused on building in-house teams for, you know, kind of large scale clients um, as they're making a, that migration from traditional agency relationships. And that was an incredible experience for us to see live firsthand what brands need in terms of um, strategic support, in terms of measurement and analytic support around their team performance um, to give them the equivalent of an agency partnership that offers flexibility, that offers the, you know, the opportunity to dial up and down teams, um, bring in project-based support here, you know, when they need it, whether it's seasonally, whether it's by by campaign, there's just Mm -hmm. a lot of um, operational complexity that comes with providing true a true f- framework for flexibility and taking that learning um you know into Timera is a really exciting opportunity for us to automate a lot of that work and i think that our team is really um the right folks for the job based on you know from a software background specifically i think like you know a big chunk of the team is coming from really great ad you know ad tech background programmatic background which goes into a lot of the intelligence behind the team building engine. Um, And ultimately our focus on team data from day one is going to build a product over time that will help brands manage their teams intelligently by the numbers and all with the underlying intent of building happy, diverse, sustainable teams, um, you know, where the work output's great, we have data to prove it and we have Mm -hmm. happy teams behind the work and we have data to prove that too. And, you know, what, what's an example of, um, of what a team might look like? Is it, are we talking about for small companies? For what, what size company is kind of your target? You know, I think that our core focus is going to be on the, um, on the small end of mid-sized businesses. I think that for small companies, mom and pop shops that really just need you know, a WordPress developer or need an SEO specialist, those are roles that they're going to be better off finding on a case by case basis. For huge enterprise grade companies, I think there's, um, they often have in-house teams that have been built with consulting partnerships, um, you know, that uh, it costs, you know, there's a lot of cost involved, there's a lot of time involved, but they're building those internal systems for themselves. But I think that what we're trying to build is off the shelf software that can be, you know, offer a self-serve tool for companies that are building t- freelance teams of call it, you know, five to 50 people. I think that that's the real sweet spot for us to be able to provide real value where we're actually saving companies time and hassle um, mm-hmm. as they're finding the right people, as they're consolidating contracts, um, certainly as they're, you know, bringing together the data to show that their teams are actually performing, um, yeah. you know, and hopefully we'll learn enough to be able to scale up from there. But I think that to start out with, that's the right, um, the right size of mm-hmm. team that we can really be effective at. And specifically, we're talking about bu- building creative and marketing teams. Um, you know, to give an example of this, if you're going to build a, a new e-com website and you are going to need UX specialists, you're going to need copywriters, you're going to need um, designers, you're going to need content creators, you're going to need product photographers, all of these roles um, mm-hmm. don't necessarily need to be full time. And um, as I said, the best talent out there doesn't necessarily want to be full time butts and seats either. And so mm-hmm. this offers a new way for brands to engage the best talent at the right time for those types of projects. Um, and again, bringing people together in a way that there's a real skill set and cultural alignment from the start to help make work move faster and more pleasurable for the teams as they're as they're working along. Right, right. That's great. Um, and so as it relates to, you know, the logistics of the launch, what are what are kind of the the four or five things that you're kind of putting yeah. out there today? <laughs> well, <laughs> the big things, and this goes back to, you know, you, d- you do it bit by bit. Um, this is the company launch. It's not a product launch, so it's a little bit different. But we've launched our first version of our website. Um, we're actively, acce- you know, we're actively um, building our demo list. Um, that's a big core piece of this because we need 
this is basics. This is company launch basics, but it's, you need to give your audience something to do. <laughs> yeah. um, and so we finally have demos available. Um, so we've launched our website. We've updated our LinkedIn. We've created our LinkedIn page. We've all changed our um, personal pages. Um, you know, we've got an announcement post coming later today, um, which anybody listening, please uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Help us with Follow. the algorithms. <laughs> um, you know, and I think from here, this really just gives us a tangible jumping off point to have meaningful conversations with potential customers, potential investors, now that we are planting a flag and saying, hey, guys, we exist. Um, this is the starting point. Yeah. And as we start to release products, um, this will become more and more sophisticated. And I think that that's also something to share with anybody else that's kind of going along for this journey is like, we've got a bunch more pages to add to our website. Our initial website is, it's V1. And as we go through, you know, the coming weeks, we'll be adding, a, you know, some additional articles, some product landing pages that speak to each product that we're building. Um, <laughs> these things will get more sophisticated over time. And as we learn what messages are resonating with our audience, as we're building our, you know, again, SEO pri profile, these are all things that um, I, I'm of the mindset of like, you know, uh, better done than perfect. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so getting things out the door and getting um, these early pages out, this is again, step one, and it's a rolling project. Yeah. Yeah. I love how you, you know, you started with, um, you know, the way the logo has even evolved, you know, yeah. you started with <laughs> one and then we went, we got a lot of feedback. We then yeah. threw another one out there, got a little more feedback yeah. and, you know, and here we you, are. You put a little stamp um, on it. We started with a, you know, a qu quick, quickie little sketch and get more sophisticated from there. And that's how we build. Yeah. yeah. Um, and as for, you know, the, you know, we talked about the target kind of companies, but tell me a little about the, who, who are the people? Cause you said, you know, this is ideal for um, groups looking for five to 15, you know, freelancers for a given group, but yeah. tell, tell me a little bit more about who that person usually is. Is it yeah, the HR? Is it in the department? You know? Yeah. And based on, this is a lot of, um, based on what we learned in our past company, the most common scenario is that a company has hired a new marketing lead, whether it's a CMO, whether it's a, you know, creative director, whether it's a managing director of their creative marketing advertising department. It's somebody that's coming in with the remit of build, building an in-house team. Right. Mm -hmm. And m the way that most people like we know a lot of these people, this is how the trends are working. This is how it's going. Um, and the way that those people sit down and start this project to say, who do I know? Who do I know for my Rolodex who I want to hire in house? Uh, mm -hmm. What's the current agency relationship and who's good on that team and who's not? How do I hire that? How do I bring them over? And if I'm trying to build flexibility, um, you know, into part of the the embedded fabric of my team, I got to be looking at freelance options and I've got to be looking at a system um, to bring in the right freelancers at any given time. And again, the best, the best talent you're, you probably already worked with. You can, you know, mm -hmm. spend a lot of time going through freelance marketplaces. There's awesome <clears throat> people out there for sure, but it's a matter of, it's a matter of how much time you have to put into that. And I think that the other piece here is really what system are you building your department on? You know, and I think that um, Timera, as we b grow and as we release some products that answer each of these needs, I think it'll be exciting to see kind of what the market reaction is. But ultimately, what we what we want to put out there as our first product is a tool that helps those people in those positions organize everyone they everyone they know, <laughs> everyone mm -hmm. they want to bring in a team, all of their favorites from potential um, marketplaces, and we can pull them together and say. Here's who's available now. Here's who's on the budget. Here who here's who has you know some great alignment with your brand, whether it's past experience, whether it's category interest, those types of variables, and make it really easy to make decisions for who can come in on a flexible basis. Um, you know, and I think that again, we know that brands are going towards this in-house agency model. We know that smart brands want to build more flexibility into their operations as a whole because of everything that's out there <laughs> in yeah. the economy right now. And um, I think that we're pretty squarely 
positioned to help them with that because there's no other tool set out there that's focused on flexible dynamic teams. Right, right. You know, I think, and we can go into more of this in a future session, but I like when you talk about two different pieces of this as well. It's like, yes, HR is tracking all these people, but not in a way that makes it easy for the manager to get access to, okay, who worked on this particular campaign or this particular project last time? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was these five people. It was motion graphics person. It was this, it was that. We hear that all the time. Um, You know, oh wait, you know, we have a photo shoot. Who was on the photo shoot back in 2020, you know, um, related that was similar. Exactly. You know, those types of things are really hard for HR to pull up for you Um, or for the finance team or, you know, anybody who is yes, paying and or tracking or helping hire, but they're not necessarily giving you all of the information about who that person was for you then. Um, the other thing yeah. you haven't touched on, but I know is, is key in future, um, you know, releases past the summer is around building teams that really meet and match to your customer set and the diversity um, factor of that. Do you want to, do you want to touch on that just a little bit? Yeah. Well, I think like, you know, every study you've ever read shows that diverse teams produce better work and fundamentally you want the makeup of your team to reflect your core audience, right? Like it's, that's a no duh moment. (laughs) Um, And if you can quickly see, even if it's just a quick visual of saying, here's the makeup of your team, you're going to, you need to add three more people anyway, consider adding these folks with different backgrounds um, to match your core audience. It's a simple way for leaders to say, oh, right. That's a good reminder for me to, to give this some thought so that you don't accidentally end up with a team that's super homogenous um, and that often doesn't match your core audience. Like mm-hmm. I won't name names, pep, you know, Pepsi Kendall Jenner commercial, <laughs> but um, <laughs> you know, I think that that's, it's, a, it's really common. I think it's, uh, it's genuinely takes work um, from marketing side leaders uh, to, to, to pause and say, how, how, what am I, what is my team even looking like these days? Um, and how does that match up? And we want to give easy, data-driven visuals to help them make better decisions long-term. And like I said, for the good of the brand and for the good of the work. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. And as I said, you know, as we get um, probably next week, we can start diving into more of like, what problems are we solving first? Yes. You know, second, et cetera. Um, So what, what is it you would ask of our friends, you know, that, that um, are supporting us and gosh, we've had a lot, right? Yeah. It's it's amazing. It's been amazing. amazing. But yeah. um, Yeah. What is it? Well, the you know, biggest, what, what's next? I mean, a couple things. Um, help us with the algorithms, right? Like um, follow our page. We've just launched our LinkedIn page. Um, if you are, if you follow it, then you can get all of our updates as we post live. It's super helpful to get, get the, it's basics, uh, but you mm-hmm. know, that's an ask. <laughs> um, follow our page, share our, share our announcement. We're going to be launching our um, launch announcement later today. So anybody that, um, if you, if you are a CMO or a CD in a position um, where you're actively looking to build a freelance first, you know, framework for your team, um, 100%, please reach out. <laughs> mm-hmm. We have demos available now. So um, really excited to share those and show what we're building. Um, uh, if you know of a CMO or CD that could use this, like absolutely send this their way. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess a follow, keep following along. I think that that's the biggest thing is that, um, that we're absolutely kind of building live and hearing feedback along the yeah. way is how we learn and build a stronger product. Um, and, you know, I, that's, that's where, that's where yeah. I would say the focus is. Yeah, great. And, you know, we're talking, I think, you know, we're talking to yeah any, any marketers. We're also talking to there are some other people that are outside of the marketing area that are saying, we'd still like to understand what it is you're doing. We're happy yeah. to talk with anybody right now, you know, yeah. around, you know, what you're looking for so, when you're building teams um, inside your organization, whether, you yeah. know, of, of any size um, and investors, you know, we are talking with them though. Yeah. We're not, you know, looking, we do, you know, we are saying bootstrap for now, um, but just we're learning as we go too. Yeah. we've talked to, you know, a handful already and getting some great feedback. Um, and so, yeah, if you know anybody out there that you think we should be introduced to, we'd, we'd love that as well. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I Rolodex. went over our normal time, but um, this it's a big day. Great. It's a big day <laughs> for us. Yay. Um, and thank you to everyone. Um, thanks, Zach. Uh, appreciate it. And, uh-huh. um, and Stacey, you and I will be on tomorrow. Um, and anyone else that's out there, we really appreciate your support. Yeah. So 
Thank you and have a good day, Great Ray. Too. And I'll talk to you, you later. Too. Take, Take care. care. Thanks.